Okay. Ah. So this is the end of week one of my boot camps plant-based diet challenge. Uh, we've we're following some guidelines from a book called Forks Over Knives, and it's uh, an attempt to eat only things that grow out of the ground and uh, <sighs> grow off trees. Um, and so no meat, so the obvious culprits are beef, chicken, fish, pork, seafood, um, and uh, any animal products, cheese, milk, eggs, yogurt, eat. some folks are going as far as saying honey. Okay, sure, why not? So it's been a challenge. The first couple days, definitely. I, this is, week has been very much about trial and error. Um, my diet, which has pretty been pretty decent, obviously, for a, a while now, because I, I lost weight on it, but um, I pretty much what I did was just go in and take all the meat and meat products out and didn't think to replace them, and so I was really miserable the first two days. I just hadn't consumed enough calories, I was fatigued, I was dragging, I had a headache, and it wasn't until I talked to one of my friends who is a vegan who was sort of just hearing me out and said, ah, dum-dum, you're not eating enough calories. I mean, the objective of being on a vegan diet is not to starve yourself, which wasn't my attempt at all. I just thought you were supposed to be feeling miserable, and so I hadn't sort of double-checked the fact that I wasn't taking enough calories in. So some of my boot camp compadres are already saying that they're ready to turn their lives over to vegan and they're never going to eat meat again. Yeah, I'm not willing to say all that. But I am willing to say that uh, it's an interesting process. I'm definitely going to finish the challenge. Um, I went as far as to order a vegan cookbook. It's called Vegan with a Vengeance. And um, I'm willing to, it's 150, uh, 150 recipes that I can try over the next three weeks. Obviously, I'm going to try all 150. But I, I know that I definitely need variety in my diet. And without it, I won't last. So... I'm going to give this an old college try, my best effort. Um, it's all on your word because obviously nobody knows what you're eating. And so um, it's just about you and the integrity of your word. So, so far I'm good. I haven't cheated. I haven't, you know, I'm not saying I don't have cravings, but I haven't cheated. So um, I've learned how to make quinoa and uh, crock pot bean stew. And so uh, if you want to watch the rest of this video, it's me making bean stew. So you start with washing your vegetables. Um, in my colander I have uh, mushrooms, potatoes, a red pepper, jalapeno pepper, some baby carrots, and a broccoli that I had left over from another dish that I'm just going to dump in here. So I think that's it. And some tomatoes. So here we go. For the beans, which is like a seven bean bag, about uh, 12, maybe 16 ounces of beans, I boil for about 45 uh, minutes while I was prepping the veggies and all that good stuff. So this is going to go into the pro crock pot. So the recipe I look up online says you the beans should go in already pre-cooked. So I've transferred the beans into the crock pot. I've had this, I've had this crock pot since I don't even know. It's like a million years old and it still works. Um, so we're going to go ahead and start adding the uh, veggies. So the vegetables have been cut up. Um, like I said we have Carrots, mushrooms, tomato. The recipe I found online said you could put a can of tomatoes in, but when I saw when I checked them out online, um, when I checked out the tomatoes in the grocery store, they had like tons of sodium in it. So I decided to go with fresh tomatoes. I have some jalapeno peppers here, and like I said, some uh, potatoes and uh, a green pepper. And I hope this all fits in this little crock pot. Let's see. So we got everything in the crock pot, amazing. Um, I, I seasoned it off with a couple, more than a couple, cloves of garlic, um, salt and pepper, a little bit of cayenne, because I, like I like heat with my uh, soup, and some thyme, and some black pepper, I think I already said that. So that's it, We're, I have it set on high, which is gonna have this done in about five to six hours. So I'll check back in. And this is the final verdict. Um, chunky goodness. Hope you guys had a good week. And keep checking in to see how I'm surviving as this new minted vegan. 
All right, talk to you guys later.